Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Front Seat Foodies! We are the Front Seat Foodies We are the Front Seat Foodies it's day two here in Pampanga. Yep, that yep, means yep. it's the second episode of the Pampanga trip. Yes, if you haven't seen the first episode of our Pampanga trip. And the first episode of Foodie Fridays. Season 3. Uh -huh. It's on our YouTube channel or click on this tag <laughs> somewhere here to watch our first episode where we ate all the best traditional Kapampangan food that mm. Kapampanga has to offer basically. Yes. So we're going to three restaurants today. The first one is going to be a brunch style restaurant. We haven't eaten today. And the next one is uh, for merienda. And then the last one is early dinner. dinner. And then we're going to head back to Manila because I work now. Yeah. Oh. You know what, Pampanga? Sobrang okay siya kung gusto niyo lang mag staycation. Kasi magaganda yung hotels. Yeah. Ang daming hotels na pagbibilian. Ang dami rin mga day trips na pwedeng gawin. If you want to go on a nature trip or a, like, camping. A, Camping trip or like you want to go to the zoo or whatsoever. Food trip. Yeah, pwede ring gawin. And yung food nga sobrang rich kasi ang daming mga masasarap talaga sa Pampanga at ang dami ring mga bago na pwede pwede itry. Our first stop of the day, it's a breakfast place mm -hmm. actually. And we are both excited because recommended to by our friend Peterson again from Pampanga. Hi, Peterson! Hello, hello! So they serve different kinds of silog. Mm -hmm. Merong tap silog, syempre, may hot silog. The know, usual breakfast the usual, food. Very hippie yung vibe, yung very young and very cute. Pupuntahan namin ang Ora Ora, Ora Tap Silogan. Alright guys, so we made it here at Ora Ora Tapsilugan. It's, it's so actually, nice. oh, ang ganda niya. It's a very small karinderia type na A humble na place, karinderia. Yeah. It's along the main road actually dito sa Angeles. So it must be, it must get really busy here especially kapag ka peak hours nila. So right now actually walang tao because it's um, brunch. Oh, oh. Medyo so, alangan din yung time. Natin. Kung gusto mo namang uh, medyo kayo lang, private, punta kayo ng ano. No Alright guys, so baba muna ako to get our tapsilo. Yeah. So originally our orders are just tapsilog and tosilog. Kasi sabi ni Kali, tapsilog syempre yun yung signature nila. And then tosilog kasi it's good here in Pampanga. Yeah. Kasi to sino. Dito inimbento. Pero si Kali nung bumaba siya, Nagbigay pa sila ng adobo flakes kasi yeah. masarap daw yung adobo flakes nila. So, thank you guys! Thank you, thank you, Ora Ora. Thank you, Ora Ora, for the treat. Alright, it's time to eat. We're super hungry. Ako din, super natatakam ako sa amoy. Yeah. Ang, ang, ang sarap pa rin talaga ng Filipino breakfast. Oh, the best Cannot for me, the best in the world. Guys, tinan niyo yung ano, serving nila. Ang ayos! Ang ayos and ang laki. Kasi diba may ibang nakakain sa takeout na ang hirap-hirap kainin kasi yeah. ang kalat. So that is their top silog. It comes with two eggs and a side of uh, corn and carrots. Uh -huh. So sobrang generous ng servings. Woo! That's some of the eggs. Okay. Okay. Some of the tapa. Look at that tapa. One. Wait lang. Ay, sorry. Ako na ako. Ay. Na-excite ako. Shucks, na kasi ako. One, two, two three. Mmm. Wow. Grabe naman po yun. Very garlicky. Ang sarap. Sarap. Wow. Definitely not 140 pesos. More mm -hmm. than more for me, ha? Sa iba sa Manila, hindi masyadong masarap yung tapa, pero nag-300 sila. Oh, Tapos tapa lang extra yun. Extra Ito, meal na. Okay, so yung tapa nila is garlic tapa. Mmm. Mm. Ang sarap. 
sa pool na sa pool yung Bab- garlic on garlic. <laughs> Bukod sa perfect breakfast food siya, alam mo kung saan din siyang perfect? Yeah. Pag nasing ka, pag may um, hangover ka. And I think kaya siya open 24 hours kasi Para it's sa a hangover meal. meal. And the buttered vegetables are also really good. One more time. Lasubo tayo. Kasi marami pa. Mm. Ayo. One, two, three. Mm. So, syempre, since ora-ora tap si Lugan, talagang ang signature dish nila is the tapa. It's tapa done well. It's a garlic tapa. So, for those who are like huge fans talaga of garlic, eto yun. Garlic on garlic siya kasi garlic rice, garlic tapa. Toto. Buttered veggies. Buttered veggies. Super sarap. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I like it. Talagang you could really never go wrong with the tap si Lug. Yes. Next, we have the adobo flakes. Yes. From beef, we're going to pork. So actually, hindi namin ito in-order nga, but since they insisted na itong nga talaga yung bestseller nila, isa sa mga bestseller nila, they wanted us to try it out. Adobo flakes. And from the looks of it, hindi siya yung adobo flakes na... na crunchy crunchy. Yung parang ano na, parang tostadong tostadong Uh-oh. masyado. Ito buo siya pa rin, but there is a crunch to it. You could see that there are some bits na may crunch. Minsan kasi diba adobo flakes, parang ano na, super pino. Ito hindi siya yung super pino. Uh, adobo flakes. Alright. One, two, two three. Mmm. 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 Shut up. I love how subtle the crunchy yeah. factor is. Hindi siya yung ibang adobo flakes na yung pagkagat mo, puro tusta na lang nakakain mo. Ito, may malambot pero may crunch din. Sarap din lang. And sometimes, yung adobo flakes, parang nawawala na yung talagang adobo flavor. Oo. Parang nagiging bacon type. Oo, 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 tama. Buo pa din. Yeah, you could still definitely taste the adobo. Yes. Yung suka, nandun yes. pa rin na, na nalalasa mo pa rin. At saka yung toyo. Hmm. Pangalang breakfast ko. Ang sarap nito. Parang ano siya ha, medyo nagtatay yung tapa ko tsaka tong flakes ha. Mm-hmm. May mayabang. Malaba yun. Mm-hmm. Tapos may mga ibang mga pieces na may sunog. Mm-hmm. Parang nagkaramelize na yung flavor niya. Napagka kinain mo yun. Boom. Ang sarap. Ang ano kasi ng flavor, ang lakas. Sarap. Winner. Winner, winner. Sarap din ang double flakes nila guys. Pero, etong excited ako. Tocino is my childhood breakfast. So, this is what I'm most excited about. Even though, syempre, tapsilugan yung ora-ora. It's because we're at the home of the Tocino sa Pampanga. Pampanga's best Tocino. Huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, ba yun yun? Yeah, the home of the Tocino oh, is uh, Pampanga. So, I thought I can't wait to try it. Ang dami. Ang dami serving ng Tocino nila. My goodness. Tapos, ito yung gusto kong Tocino. Yung nakikita mo na medyo sunog-sunog yung gilid. Yung gilid. Yun ang perfect. At childhood breakfast ko to, guys. Kasi yes. nung ako nung bata ako, laging Tocino yung request Comfort ko. Comfort food. Mm-mm, same. Tapos, may garlic bits din yung Tocino sa taas. Okay, try. Look at Tsaka hindi siya yung tosino na fatless. Itong tosino may fats. Talagang boom! Oo. Oh, oh. One, two. One, two. Mm. Tosinosthebomb.com Ito malalaki yung cut niya. Yung tosino niya. Ang daming serving. Uh-huh. And it's not too sweet. Ako naman. Masarap siya. Pero nababitin ako sa kasweetan niya. Kasi mahilig ako sa sweet na sa ulam. Sa sweet na ulam. Parang like every time I see tosino, I expect that to be sweet. Yun talagang... Matamis na matamis, mm-hmm. no? Siyempre, you expect to see to be sweet. Pero, this is a good, ano, level for me. No. For me, when it comes to price, serving size, yeah. cleanliness, flavor, super pasok si Oro Oro for me. Mm. If meron sa Manila nito, I would definitely go anytime of the day kasi na-appreciate ko sobra yung 24 hours sila. Siyempre, yung work natin, di ba? Minsan, madaling araw kami natatapos. Hirap na hirap kami maghanap ng mga 24 hours na masasarap. Except fast food. Uh-huh. Except fast food. Parang siyang go to monster na anytime pwede kong puntahan. Yeah. Ganun. So, this is a gem. Thank you, Peterson, for recommending this to us. This is a gem, definitely a gem here in Pampanga. It's simple, guys. You, you get what you ano, expect. Yeah. It's a tap silog, it's a toss silog, it's an adobo flakes silog. Ang laki ng serving kasi. Oh, it's really malinis. filling, malinis. And hindi ka tinipin sa sarap. Oh, yeah. yeah, yung flavor niya, it's there. Ako, among all the three, I really like the tapa. Ako din, tapa. Yeah, tapa, tapa talaga. talaga. Sarap. All right. All right, guys, so that's it for our brunch. That's it for the first stop. Pretty good food sa Ora Ora. Next up, in a bit, we're gonna go merienda at a place that we actually just found out about last night. Last night lang. So it's called 
pineapple coast. They serve tacos, Mexican food, and it's very new and very hippie. If I'm not mistaken, they're also owned by the group of Baledetong. So I'm excited to try because Baledetong did more, not no. disappoint us. Oh, oh shempe. So I think it's casual na la. It turns into a bar at night. So Saya. yeah, yeah. Boy, no so, boy nightlife dito. No? Oh, oh. even uh, even the other place that we're gonna go to later. Buhay na buhay yung nightlife Which sadly we're, we're not able to experience tonight But we'll be back naman anyway yeah. So this place is a full-on Mexican Ano talaga? Uh-huh. Mexican cuisine Kasi Mexico is here In Pampanga? Mexico Pampanga? <laughs> Alright guys, let's go to Pineapple Coast, Coast. All right, guys. We made it to Pineapple, Pineapple Coast. Coast. So this is our second restaurant for the day. At the usual, we have Mexican food. We so, both love Mexican food, by the way. It's one of the top cuisines that we yeah. love. Ang Mexican food. We talaga. love. As in, dream na yung pumunta ng Mexico. Tapos mag food trip lang kami dalawa. Yeah. Ganong level. Yeah. So we're, we're about to go down in a bit to pick up the food. But before that, we think now is the best time to thank our official mobility partner, Toyota. Toyota. The new Toyota. The Corolla Cross GRS HEV is the car of choice of the front seat foodies. Now that fuel prices are on the rise, this car is perfect for our food adventures. It, it has, has everything, everything we need. need. From its world-renowned reliability, riding comfort, style and design, technology, safety features, and of course, its fuel efficiency. Check the description box below for more details. was Toyota. If you guys are interested in getting any car, particularly the Cross or any Toyota car, the details are in the description box. Just click the link to know more. Okay hey guys, time to get our merienda. It's taco time! Taco for Fridays! So guys, we made it here inside um, Pineapple Coast. Mo ba naman kami for a change? Yeah, for a change. Very small, ano lang siya. Uh, small lang siya, pero talagang the character is ano. Very detailed. Yeah, as in the vibe, sobrang ano, sobrang ganda. It's really a nice place to chill and hang out. Again, it's our kind of place. So we have refreshments first. Uh, these are their handmade sodas. Cheers. May mga soda sila that they make. This one is the mixed berries one, and then Gantas the strawberry. strawberry. Mm. Very sweet. Yum. Say hi. Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. What is this? That is naman Roja Verde. Okay. Uh, gayo and that's the head spicy. Man. Spicy to. It's the they're all a little spicy, this is the spiciest. Chips and salsa. We have a variety of sauces. It's super spicy one. This is the chill spicy, less spicy. There is a lime to squeeze. Cheers. Are you gonna eat with us? No, I just eat them. Oh, okay. Good sort of. Okay, na feel ko to. Spicy man. Na feel ko to. That's spicy. This is the spiciest one. So we use like chilies, lots of chilies, and the pickled juices from habaneros and peppers. <laughs> it's spicy. <laughs> really? But it's kaya. Can I try? Super. Spicy, yeah? Super. Spicy. Really spicy. Really spicy. Really spicy. Really spicy. Really spicy. Really spicy. I think there's fish in this. Guac? No. Not guac. Mmm. Refreshing shark. The tuna is really good. So this is supposed to be on the citrus side. That one's going to be on the fine side. Mm. So this one has octopus and tuna and some vegetables here. Here's another of their best sellers now. It's a ceviche. Good mm. also. Yeah, very unique in flavor. This one is It's like always in the Mexican restaurant. This taste. Yeah. But this one is like new to my taste buds. 
Have you been to Mexico now? Only to one, not like not at all. I remember going to a place in LA that served al pastor, the traditional way, parang sa ano siya, so yung sa shawarma, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because they shave it. Our first taco of the day. Ooh, looks so good. Yeah. Uh, so so good. Uh, Look at that. So good. One. Mm. It's so good. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's so soft. Yeah. The, the pineapple talaga ang laking bagay yung sa alpha yeah. spray. No? Yeah. yeah. Don't remove it. It's so good. It helps it though. Pero parang may pineapple. Pero parang... It elevates the dish. Okay. Our second taco for the day is called yaki. It's called yaki beef taco naman siya. So the beef is actually USDA. It's a USDA beef that's called pea. So I'm expecting so much flavor out of this beef. And then there's cheese in it. Um, and a lot chili. Of herbs. And there's a, an entire chili. So Which you, a, I'm gonna remove. Yeah. There's a bit of a kick though talaga to this. Brisket con mm. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. That's so good. Babe, it's steak. Damn. So how many to stay on steak? Shut up. Mmm, there's crunch. You're gonna like that. Mm. That's so good. Good dog. That's, a, that's a, one of the most popular ones. Yeah. The beef is so tender. Good dog. No resistance at all. Sarap, sarap. This one, winner. Keeps getting better and better, guys. Yeah. Look at this crispy. Oh, oh try. So this is capichano. Yeah, birria capichano. Oak stripe. Yeah. Oak stripe and beef. Yeah. beef chop. Crispy. So, oh. Crispy lechos. <laughs> capichano means two meats. Damn. So this is their version of uh, birria. Does it go well with salsa? It goes well with uh, this one or that. Yeah. Wow. You can dice it out with Taiwan. This is good. This one gives off a more classic taco uh -oh. taste. Uh -oh. Yeah, talagang what a, a taco probably tastes like if you remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's called tepache. Tepache. Uh, tepache. It's fermented um, pineapples. Um, okay. Super coffee. That's good for. It's like kombucha, but kombucha is you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. one is a uh, pineapple. So you get the fermentation, you get the they para soda ish. Yeah. Oh. Yung pagka soda niya, that's that's from the pineapple. It's natural. Natural. It's not, it's natural. Oh. It's not uh, from it's like carbonated. Oh, sarap. Yeah, I like kombucha. Like kombucha, yeah. But I like it better than kombucha. Cause kombucha has the imbibility. Yeah, mayroon siyang ano dito na nakakagaling. Yeah. Parang may pagka gamot by me. This is smooth. Sarap. Good. Damn, look at that. Grabe. Ganda ng color. Dude, sarap. Yeah, this is a shrimp taco, so check that out, guys. So there's shrimp in there, cheese, and uh, bell peppers. Bell peppers. Good. Mmm. Mm. My first time having well, in those two dishes, you crusted cheese. I have been cheese. It's so So many levels to it, to loy because of the crusted cheese. I'm sorry, it tastes like a pizza. Okay, last bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last bite. I think we met before. I think we met before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that? Yeah, I like that. What's your top one? All right, guys. So, wow, that was, that was crazy. That was a very heavy. Hindi merienda. kami makapag comment masado kasi may mga ibang tao. Yeah, so, sure, ang hirap magsalita. But like, no, no.
Yeah. It's really good. It's really good. We absolutely loved the food that they served us. They served us yung mga talagang mga bestsellers yes, and it did not disappoint. Especially for me, the yaki. Yes, kasi parang steak talaga. Yeah, yung yaki na yon is unlike anything that I've tried. Yeah. Especially, we're huge fans of Mexican food. Mm-hmm. And kakaiba siya. Like, when you bite into that steak, yung talagang yung lambot kasi it's yung con- fatty confi siya na ano eh na na brisket sobrang mm-hmm. lambot yes and it's complemented so well with that cheese and yes. that chili and all the all the vegetables and herbs that come along Sakto with it sakto lahat yeah in that dish like I love that dish so much probably you know one of uh, one of my favorites that we've tried in Pampanga really? yeah wow I, I love shout outs to Nico brother thanks for um, bringing us, us and hosting us Um, sa balay do tong palang all the way to um, Pineapple Coast. Sobrang bigla ng Pineapple Coast. Yeah. You weren't supposed to go actually. Mm-hmm. Kasi um, ngayon lang namin narinig yung place. But then mm-hmm. he was telling us about it last night na parang, mm-hmm. oh we have a Mexican place, blah blah. Yeah, so we, we told have, him that we love Mexican food. We love food. Mexican food. And then it did not disappoint. My goodness. Uh, put it on your list when you're, whenever you're here in Angeles, Pampanga. Super, super good. So we made it here in Casa Tigre. This is our last stop for Pampanga trip. Oh. Yeah. And it's, I think, a really good last stop. Because, wow, this is a very unusual and very unique place. Like, I feel like it's so nice at night. Yeah, it, oh, oh. It's the one of the bar na mga trip na. Yung mga yeah, ganun, yung di, in, for sure. Clubbing, yeah. Very chill. Very chill. You could definitely tell that... Um, this place is very close to the hearts of the community. Yes. Of, small um, community yeah, parang siya. Parang malamang may sariling community yung mga pupunta dito. Parang ang saya. And it's, it's, it's also in a in a village of some sort. Parang yeah. mga may resia, dito. may mga residential yung Oo. katabi niya. But then, very unassuming yung place. For sure, this place lights up and goes alive at, at night. night. For sure, dito yung uh, mga happenings. Uh, happening where you get to meet people, where you get to socialize with some locals. So, but we'll be back for sure. Yeah, we'll be but back. we're here because we are the front seat foodies and we are gonna try out their food. Yes. Because we heard na hindi lang sila bar or pub that uh, serve drinks. Drinks masarap din daw ang kanilang food. So that's what we're here for today. Yep. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'll go down um, and uh, take a look at the place and grab our food. So we got our food from Casa Tigre. It's here. This is the last stop for the day. For the entire Pampanga trip. Uh-huh. Ito ang last namin. And medyo pagod ba talaga yung food nila oh, dahil oh. wild medyo yung... Matinde. Oh. Medyo matinde. We only ordered three pero ang lalaki. lalaki. So their servings are huge. And their food is mostly American. Uh, fried. Fried. Yeah, syempre bar is. They also have a selection of Mexican food but we didn't order that kasi kakagaling lang natin sa Mexican uh-huh. kanina. So what we ordered, first off, we ordered the poutine. Which is um, it's a Canadian, it's Canadian dish. dish. Usually, ano to? Potatoes. Snack. It's Uh-oh. French fries. Yeah. Basically, with gravy. Yeah. Tapos, I remember when you went to Canada, I had no idea what a poutine is. So, 20, ano to? 2017, 16. Mm-hmm. Sa Canada, kada order mo ng poutine, may equivalent na calories siya sa gilid. So, guys, mataas yung calorie level ito. Like, parang 1,100, ganun level. Yeah. So, ingat-ingat. But, it's so good. All right. So, our first dish is the poutine. So, binuhos na namin yung gravy. Dahil that's what it is, guys. One so, giant calorie. It's basically fries that is doused in gravy. So, this is a sample. So, pero ito parang potato wedges na siya. Poutine. One, two, three. Mm. Mm. Oh, Try it with the, the other sauce. One, two, three. Mm. The other sauce is a mayo-based one. Mayo, slight spice. I think this goes well, super well with um, beer, beer or alcohol in general. Pang polutan. Mm-hmm. But siempre we're driving, so we can't have drinks. It's good. Hmm. Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. 
All right, next up we have. Sabi nila, this is another bestseller. This is the boneless chicken. Boneless chicken, nila. And it looks like it has quite a lot of uh, spice. Uh huh. You don't have wala nang hassle of biting through all that bone. So this is uh, a lemon that you squeeze on top. So this is their boneless chicken. Look all right, that, guys. Look at. That. Okay, one, two, two three. three. Hmm. I'll try it with the mayo. Crabby, pagka deep fry nito. Hmm. I'm happy with mayo. Pat may mayo. Nandiyo maalat. Hap ng mayo. Perfect siya dun sa chicken. Ito talaga yung mga, yung mga food sa mga pubs. Late night cravings. Yeah, mga pubs. But they're doing like bar chow really, yeah. really well. It's good bar food and generous servings. Dami. Dami. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the chicken? It's good. It's sakto for me for mm -hmm. the for the cocktails and the beer. Yeah, it's it's on the saltier a, side. Yeah, it's a bar food. Yeah, bar food talaga siya. Sarap sarap. And that's why it's a bit salty because you want pag ka umiinom ka, malasahan mo parin yung yeah. Yung food. It's a bit spicy. And my kick. Yeah, my kick siya sa kick dulo. Madaming, may mga pepper siya. Yeah, Pero may pepper with the mayo, everything is perfect. The last dish here in Casa Tigre is the chicken and waffle. So, medyo intense. To, Nagulat guys. ako, ang dami. Yeah, sobrang Masarayan dami. Masarayan pa yung chicken. Binawasan na namin ang slide para ma-assemble namin with the butter, yeah. with, the, with the... Oh, there's a cereal. Yeah. I mean, the chicken looks pretty much the same as the boneless chicken. Uh oh. So this one, of course, has maple syrup drizzled all over it. One. Cheers. One. Two. You are a huge fan of maple syrup. Mm -hmm. right? I put maple syrup in almost every breakfast food. Na pwedeng dalian ng maple syrup. Kaya kami sa hindi. Sabay mo ng waffle. Mm. Mm. So it's the classic chicken and waffles. Not done very very well. Yeah, the waffles for me could do a lot more crispiness. Mm -hmm. The texture of waffles parang pancake style siya. Yeah. Ako, I prefer my wa waffles crispy, oh, crispy naman. and um, medyo ano airy in the inside. Yes, yun yung hinahanap ko. Yung airiness. Yeah. Crispy and airy. Not sure if it's in the manya. Yeah. And also for the chicken, the chicken, uh, really, I mean, fried chicken really goes well with waffles, talaga. And then this one, you you drizzle talaga maple syrup on top of it, which I think makes it better, because the chicken is quite spicy and salty at, and salty, at maraming spice, so it's good to balance it out with the maple syrup. You don't be afraid if you're gonna order this. Don't be afraid to like smother it with maple syrup. But yeah, this is a, a pretty good uh, chicken and waffles. Um, ako, I'd, I'd order this pag katalagang. If you go here, hindi mo dapat iisipin yung diet mo, walang ano, walang dapat puyipigil yeah. sa lamon mo. So, it's a type of food that they serve. Verdict, I like their food, but I don't think I would have this on its own because it has to be eaten with drinks. Yes. Sobrang heavy nung bawat dish heavy. nila. So, don't order too don't much. Don't order too much. Pang sh for sharing to. This is like more on the pika-pika side while having drinks. Yeah, don't order too much and um, enjoy it with people with you. And guys, that is it for this episode and this is the end of our Pampanga trip. Aww, si Pang Sagad! Yeah. <laughs> Sobrang grabe yung experience namin dito sa food capital of uh, Luzon or the food capital of uh, the Philippines, maybe. Yeah. And bukod <laughs> sa busog kami mismo, busog na busog din yung Pampanga sa masasarap na pagkain. And uh, there's definitely more room in our stomach so that we can go back yes. in some other time Hindi na mas mahaba. Si Sobrang daming pagkain. Uh, yeah, like yeah, so definitely worth the trip. If you're from the city, definitely worth the two hour trip. It's so nice to spend the weekend here and dining okay. magagawa and dining maraming, makakain. So many Airbnb, many yeah, magandang dami, hotel. Dami. So guys, we hope you enjoyed the first two episodes of Front Seat Foodies. Watch out for more episodes in the coming weeks because uh, hindi natatapos dito ang uh, Foodie Fridays. We have so much in store for you guys. Yes. Soon. Don't forget every Fridays at 6 p.m. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up 
and the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe to our channel mm -hmm. thank you so much for watching foodies we'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>